Did you live with, so you lived with, how long did you live with Diana Ross? Oh, on and off about two years. Wow. And and is, is a story that I know, weren't you dating Cher before that? And did you yeah. cheat on Cher with of Diana Ross? Of course. <laughs> yes. So you're dating Cher. Yes. Did she catch you with Diana Ross? No. Um, what had happened was I, uh, by the way, both amazing women. There's not a bad thing you can say about. Did, no, I think great, they're both beautiful. Wonderful mothers. Everything. You still talk to them? Sure. Let's call Diana I, Ross. It was Christmas time and I, what do you get? What do you get share for Christmas? You know, so I asked her, I don't know what to get you. You've got everything. And I've got to go back to New York to rehearse. We're going back out on tour. And she said, my best friend, Diana's there. Just call her up, tell her I told you, and she should take you shopping. She knows what I like. <laughs> oh, so, my God. <laughs> and, she, and Diana knew that Cher loved your penis. I beg your pardon, Howie. Well, I'm just saying, do you want it at Christmas? You said Diana knows. Go ahead, finish your well, story. Well, these are semantics, but I'm not anti-semantic. <laughs> there you go. I love what you did He's there. writing these down. See, kids, writing entails uh, a utensil you hold with one of your hands, and there's paper made out of trees. And a, a Okay, so no, finish this. Of, this is an amazing <laughs> story. So you, are you living with Cher at the time? Well, yeah, but I had to go back out on tour. Right, but you went to New York, and she... Yes. She, she hooked you up. you up with your with her friend to yes. shop for her. What happened? Uh, I went up to meet Diana, who mm. was lovely and all that, and she gave me chocolate cake. <laughs> uh, actual, I an actual piece of chocolate cake. Oh, oh. <laughs> You are, everybody, you are so bad. No, I'm, but I was just looking at I'm everybody's telling, face in the control room. I am everybody. telling Simon about you. Did You're you break trying. up a friendship? Are, are, were they no did, longer friends? I did not. I think Diana and Cher stopped talking with each other, but I remained friends. So because I mean, you can't have well, your cake and eat it too. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> Wait, they stopped talking to each other after. Well, if you don't swallow, it doesn't count. <laughs> right, Howie? That's very Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> it's not kosher. Go ahead. Um, but they stopped talking to each other Are they, after yeah. you went to New York. I I know I you remained friends with both of them, but they What were... did you get share? <laughs> what did you end up buying share? I remember going with uh, by the way, Shannon, love of my life, who we have kids together, we're fellow married. Canadian. Love she's very she's a newfie. Yes, I know. Stay where you're at and I'll come where you're too. Bye. That's how they talk in Newfoundland oh, from you have Canada. No idea. You gotta kiss the screech. But she doesn't talk like that. No, not like this. Not like Popeye. No. Right. But those phrases are very new Why are you bringing your wife up now? I'm talking well, about she's how she's probably you... not thrilled with this conversation. Is she listening? What? Tell, tell her not to listen. Oh, Shannon. Don't yeah. don't listen. But this is this is pre Shannon. That's right. So we're talking about Oh, but even during Shannon, I was an asshole. Arrogant, selfish. So were you were cheater, you out shopping? Were you shopping oh, yeah. for Shannon with other who who no, took you no. shopping? No, there was no shopping involved. I was just, you know, fucking. Uh, that's it. That's the end of the sentence. Self-absorbed, <laughs> fucking arrogance. Shopping for pussy. You are so. That's not you are so for my sweet. daughter. <laughs> but if you're in a band, you don't have to go shopping. Okay. It comes to you. <laughs> All right. What do you have? A, did you have an open Delivery. relationship with uh, no. Shannon? No. No. So let's finish the one shopping spree. <laughs> Cher, what did you buy Cher? Like, how did Cher find out? Or you said, I'm not coming home. Here's your gift. Well, they, uh, I wasn't privy to the conversations, but soon thereafter, I, I bought a place for Cher in New York <clears throat> on Fifth Avenue, and she had her designer uh, design it. Mm-hmm. It was the penthouse on top of 64th Street. It's still a lovely place overlooking the children's zoo, as a matter of fact. It's an amazing place. Elevator comes right into the place, you know, all the accoutrement. And by the time it was finished, I had to go back out on tour, and then Cher noticed I didn't stay there, that I was staying a few blocks away with Diane at her place. Right. So, you know, she said, what's going on? 